many allies in the street not too surprised. They just said this was a planned succession, as Howard Schultz said, his eyes on retirement. But one analyst saying that they were a bit disappointed as Schultz seems to have that magic that he brings to the Starbucks brand. Uh, analysts saying that they expect little to no impact to fundamentals in the near or medium term, largely because the company is already making way on that reinvention plan that they introduced this exact time last year. And that's being executed by the leadership team that Howard Schultz largely picked. Some new executives on the board include Frank Britt. We also have the new CEO that took the helm in late March, was intended to be early April. Lakshman Narasimhan. And part of that reinvestment plan is that they expect same source sales to grow between the range of 7 to 9% general, generally. Now, Bernstein did come out with a note this morning saying a few potential implications and in what investors can expect from here. They said that CEO Lakshman Narasimhan now has control. Of course, we've seen in the past that when Howard Schultz stayed on the board, he has a large say, you know, a heavy hand perhaps when it comes to laying out plans or future targets for Starbucks. Now, Lakshman fully has control of the company. And we know that Schultz, you know, has had made an interesting play when it comes to the workforce at Starbucks, an interesting relationship there. Schultz was accused earlier this year of aggressive and illegal union busting. He did testify on the Hill right after he stepped down as a CEO. And so that analysts expecting that he'll uh, that Starbucks will gain more credibility with their workforce. And the last note here, the person that is stepping in, Wei Zhang, is a former Alibaba executive. And so this is a recommitment of Starbucks investment in China. Of course, she led their Alibaba's group's international business and media strategy. And for six years there, she also led out of Beijing uh, corporate development, corporate strategy and social responsibility. And so an interesting pick here by Starbucks, but really making headway in China. And so perhaps the right time to bring in someone with this sort of expertise. And so how does that play into the bigger global expansion, not just China, but overall? Right. Well, well Starbucks does have 20,000 stores now beyond North America. And so it'll be interesting to see the way that Wei comes in and really, you know, says her say, but also Lakshman coming from a UK business record. It'll be interesting to see the way that he now has a vi bigger voice in the company. And Starbucks has been making headway into China. We know that as of September of last year, they opened 6,000 stores. And with with this reinvention plan, the company now expects to grow by 50% in China and reach 9,000 stores in the next year. As I just mentioned before, they also have 20,000 stores outside of North America, and they're learning a lot from China. I think it's been interesting to watch the company tackle. Of course, they stepped in during COVID. They said that we are a leader in the West. We're looking to make headway into China. And they were one of the companies that really built up during COVID, mm -hmm. expecting that when the lockdowns open, they would see a return. And last quarter, we did see that big return. It's happening in China, but not, uh, yeah, not as much as it was anticipated. Thank you, Brooke. Appreciate Thank it. You.